Now, let's try. You make your Proceed to cabin. The interior. And don't take the blade. The door to the basement. And then uh, lie to her. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? And then totally betray her. I think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down What's up, sugar plums? And lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. Binding her to the far wall of the base. Okay, skipping doesn't seem to work that well with the text, like the spoken text. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big. I'll just mistake. beat her to a pulp. Don't even try it. Let's, let's, let's talk a bit first. Okay. Okay, so that's the same here, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I think if I just, you know, come down here, tell her, you know what, I'm going to save you, and then just silently go back upstairs and get the blade. Intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. I'll be back, you don't you worry. Hope for your own sake that I don't slip these chains before you make it back down here. Hmm. Slip these okay. chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. She has to be bluffing, but I'd hurry if I were you. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. Okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save, after all. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Okay. Where the princess oh, said no. to go, there's only a severed arm, its cooling flesh still chained to the wall. And she is nowhere to be seen. Is she inside the walls? Is it just on the me? ceiling? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Uh Let's finish this. She's gotta be hiding somewhere. Your eyes dart to the corners of the room. You don't see her. Where is she? Investigate the arm. As you step towards the severed limb, you hear the pattering of feet behind you, soft against the basement floor, then loud and desperate against the stairs. You How is she hiding? Chase after the princess, but she's fast and has too much of a lead. She slams the door behind her before you can make it to the top of the stairs. The lock clicks into place. No! Thanks for letting me out. I'd return the favor, but I think we both know that I can't trust you to let me stay free. With those parting words, the princess walks away, her quiet footsteps eventually fading as she leaves you and the cabin to rot. You're stuck here. Come on, I can't just bust down the door. Or like use the knife to like, I don't know, chip away. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I prefer for things that was to be rather anticlimactic reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. You don't know how much time passes before the end, but eventually it comes. The world ends and you end with it. Okay. You're on.
on a path in the woods. Your yeah, heard that before. Uh, proceed to the cabin. A warning. She will lie. Yeah, she lies and cheats. Opportunist. Okay. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Yeah, sure, I think that's just... Mm. Do I need the blade? Nah, I'm good. Blade. I hope you know what you're getting us into. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. Just talk it out. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor, waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her yeah, yeah, very well. skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Probably. I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused okay. with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. I mean, she did thank me for setting her free last time. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh, no. You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. Do you remember us, then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. Hmm, I'm just glad okay. we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and sleep. You're, all, only, you're only saying this about your world, not our world. So we clearly live in different worlds. Let's chatter up. And you are literally just a narrator that narrates the story that's un unfolding here on paper. That's my working theory. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Uh, look, I've made a mistake. We all make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. Ooh. 
Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. The only mistake I ever made was thinking you would help me. And I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Well, that leaves us at a stalemate. Hmm. But unfortunately, I need you if I'm ever going to leave this place. I get the sense that you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? Do you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of those chains? Oh, I don't need you to cut me out. And she's gonna free herself again, right? The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Hmm. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Uh, I died last time. You didn't. If anyone here shouldn't be trusted, it's you. Mm. Why do I have a nagging feeling you're gonna stab me in the back? If I help you out of here. And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? Maybe a little bit. I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. You won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Um... Okay, let's leave. Yes, let's. She creeps forward taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. And maybe then I can get the... Blade and Rush. No. Oh no, we can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Yeah, true. And if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. You're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. I'm gonna step on the stairs. What could possibly go wrong? That's right, you're the one who's going first. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. That's exactly what I'm worried about. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's a smarter <laughs> idea. She can't sneak in an attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. But the princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Oh no, what's gonna happen? Why did you just say that? I think we know why. 
you feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. Of course. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Together you tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots, until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. <laughs> Unsettling. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. <laughs> I don't like having a broken back. We were going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralysed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. I haven't done jack shit. Uh, what the hell was that for? I was starting to help you out of here. Maybe you were, and maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. Damn, you a mean one. And you know as well as I that by our very nature, it's only one of us could make it up those stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. Aren't you a little paranoid? See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned where once she'd passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, that's what, now pick up the blood that's what I, uh, and her in the back. What I thought of. And then you'd say something like, wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. There's just one problem with that. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. True. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. Ho ho ho! So she's not as bad as us. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the night? I'd call that Isn't karma? That so, so funny. She eyes you Let's just intensity. hope you croak before we do. Silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just stuck here? Certainly seems that way. Oh, what a cruel twist go. of fate. But look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. If she dies before us. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? A little too romantic for my take. It'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worms lick your bones clean. Is that really what's going to happen? Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. And that's it. Final vessel. But you don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she... You approach the mirror. This doesn't feel right. If he thinks it's bad, I'm with him. Voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. For the last time, maybe. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Ooh. But you can see over here, it's the face. But that isn't right, you can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze and then you see it. A figure, faint and veiled in shadow, just beyond the reflection. 
Are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh. Crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass.